Hi, my name is Ben Boyd, and I am a physical therapist and an associate professor at Sam and Merritt University in Oakland, California. And I'm uh, leading a team of researchers and clinicians that are doing some research in breast cancer survivorship. Um, a series of them, some uh, done in person and then one that's done online as well. And I really got interested in this field as a clinician and a researcher that's been um, exploring various peripheral neuropathic pain states. Um, and a colleague of mine who has working with women post breast cancer and uh, noticing all of the, the discomfort that people were having and the, the neuropathic type of injuries that come from the surgeries to treat the cancer. So we teamed up to start to look at the effects of um, the breast cancer treatment over time on the sensitivity of the nervous systems over the first year of recovery, as well as some changes in body image and perception about that part of the body. Um, not just the part of the body that was had surgery, the breast and the chest, but also the subsequent areas that might um, have symptoms after uh, the treatment, such as the shoulder or the arm and the neck. Um, so our series of studies um, involve um, one is online where we're really looking at uh, body image and perceptions of fear and um, disability and their association with um, a cortical mapping of what the representation of that body part is. Um, so for instance, after that surgery and after that trauma and that change in, in life experience with that part of your body, well, what we're wondering is if there are alterations in how that area of your body is represented within your brain. And we're not doing direct brain mapping or anything like that, but we're doing um, some clinical tests that get at whether or not there are alterations in, um, or, or signs that there may be alterations in the, um, the representation of that body part. So for instance, uh, if you were asked to, um, as quickly and as accurately as you can, um, recognize whether an image you're shown is a right or a left hand or shoulder or chest, um, what we do to try to figure out that task is reference our own internal maps and our own internal representations of that body part to try to figure out and mentally maneuver our body into that position to um, identify is that a right side, a left side, and try to do that as quickly as possible or as accurately as possible. Well, if there's changes in how that body part is represented within our brain and our cortex, then that can alter our ability to do that task. We either become um, less efficient and it takes longer to figure it out, or we have some more errors in actually accurately identifying right and left. So that's one of the clinical tests that we're doing on both the online study and the face-to-face -face study to try to tease out, are there any of these types of changes associated with alterations in body image and perception and so forth. Uh, we are, we're doing a series of face-to-face -face studies as well, but those are done in Oakland, California, so it might be a limited population that's hearing this uh, message and considering our research that would be capable of, of being able to be tested. But we're doing similar type of testing as well as a, uh, a battery of sensory screening, uh, testing the sensitivity of the nervous system to movement and to different um, normal physical forces that would be applied uh, in a clinical exam. So um, in terms of the online study, it takes approximately 25-30 minutes to do. Um, there's, uh, it can be done at your convenience as long as you have internet access a tablet or computer to, um, to access the, the study. And um, we will have the study open at least through the end of the year. We're hoping to get um, large numbers so we can really tease out um, how this might be impacting people after breast cancer treatment. So thank you for considering it. I appreciate it and all the best.